Okay, here we are again. Yet another uh, look at the loop-de-loop -loop problem. And we said um, in a previous problem that at the top of the loop, in order to just make it around, the velocity at the top of the loop has to be the square root of gr, which means the kinetic energy at the top of the loop has to have be 1 half mv squared, which is 1 half m g r. And the reason for that is that there is only the gravitational force downward, m g, and that force then must be the force that provides the acceleration of v squared over r. Okay, so what this person wants to do, the performer wants to do, is use potential energy in the spring. Use spring potential energy to get safely all the way around the loop, to get up to the top of the loop with enough kinetic energy that they can have 1 half m v squared, the v that they need to make it all the way around. So there are two parts to a spring. One is how much it's compressed, and the other is the spring constant. And so the first part that this person needs to do is to figure out what the spring constant is. And so if we find that the spring, say when it's at rest, is all bunched up up here, and then when the person is hanging off of it, it has stretched by some distance d, that means that the free body diagram looks like this. The force up by the spring is equal to m, not m, no, force by the spring is just k times d. Why d? Because this is the displacement from equilibrium from the equilibrium length of the spring. This is called Hooke's Law, but it's really not worth remembering as any kind of, you know, formula, but just that it's a constant times the displacement away from equilibrium. And we say that it's negative, but what we mean is that whatever way the displacement is, in this case down, the restoring force of the spring is in the opposite direction, which means, in this case, up. And the performer has a gravitational force on them equal to mg. So that means if they're just hanging, the sum of the force is mg minus kd, which is zero, and so k is mg over d. So that's the strength of the spring, the spring constant. You know, a manufacturer might print that number in newtons per meter on the spring. But this person found it experimentally. So what we need to do now is apply conservation of energy. And so we'll say k plus u of gravity plus u of the spring at the launch is equal to k plus u of gravity plus u of the spring at the top of the loop. Top, whoop, let me try that again. Top of loop. So the kinetic energy at the launch is, well, what we mean by the launch is just before the launch, just before you let go, when all the potential, potential energy is stored in the spring. So this is zero. If we let y equals zero be down here on the ground, we can also then call that zero. And the spring has a one half k, this was apparently x, the how much distance will it have to compress the spring? One half kx squared. And that has to be equal to what you have at the top is one half mgr plus the potential energy, mg times the diameter of the loop, which is 2r. Of course, the spring is long gone, so the spring isn't contributing anything at the top of the loop. And so this potential energy from the spring has been converted into two parts at the top of the loop. It's been converted into kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. Okay, so all we have to do then is solve for x. Let's plug in what we know about k. So we have 1 half, and k was mg over d x squared 
is equal to 1 half mgr plus mg2r. The mg's both cancel. We divide both sides by mg. And uh, what are we left with? 2. So 5 halves. The halves cancel. And I think if we simplify this, if I multiply through by 2, I get d whoop, x squared. Whoop, nope. One more time. I get x squared all over d is equal to r plus 4r, which is 5r. So when I solve for x, I get that x is the square root of 5 times r times d. So there you go. If you take this string and you find that you when you hold on to it, when it's attached to the ceiling, if you the spring stretches by an amount d, and you're trying to get up and around a loop of radius r, you need to compress that spring by the square root of 5 times r times d. Interesting problem.